coronavirus pandemic now causing the country's best beach to close. The city of Clearwater taking drastic action. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith leads our team coverage tonight. Well, it's no surprise some of the loudest voices arguing against closing Clearwater Beach. Many businesses right here along Mandalay Avenue. And while many of the restaurants can remain open, owners warn it's a cause and effect. If the beach goes, so do they. Stunning sunsets from the sugar sand will soon come to an end. The long term effect of this is very scary because I don't know when it's all over. Who's going to be able to back, bounce back? Rusty Pearl predicts trouble ahead for beach area businesses. The owner of Pearly's Beach Eats says his restaurant thrives on tourism. For every action, there's a reaction, and I don't know that all this has been thought through enough. America's number one beach will close for two weeks starting Monday morning at 6, giving businesses through the weekend to prepare for a potential slump in sales. That's what's weighing on my mind. If we delay this, how many of us will get sick? How many may die? City leaders passing the emergency resolution just two days after video of a packed Clearwater Beach went viral, showing thousands ignoring CDC guidelines of social distancing, generating a firestorm of criticism online. I'm just real proud that we're able to say we hear you and we're going to try to do our part. It's inconvenient. It is absolutely inconvenient. Pearl hopes a temporary inconvenience won't permanently disrupt his livelihood. If it needed to be done, it could have been done sooner than now. Now the, uh, the facts already here. In Clearwater, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.